Yo, what's up everyone? Today I'll be doing unboxing video. Well, it's already unboxed as you can see right here. And it is the sexy new Zillion SVTWG. That's right. This sucker right here won 2021 ICAST award. So yeah, I am actually very, very stoked. I actually won this reel before it won the award. And <laughs> whenever, uh, when they actually won the award, right? They basically sold out the fastest version. So uh, yeah, it took me a while to finally got this. And I gotta thank uh, Instagram for monetizing uh, the whole platform for reels. And you know, I earned some money and Jimbo decided to treat himself. In fact, uh, I hope this video is a treat for you guys too because I am already liking this reel. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time breaking this whole thing down. I wanna say the first person that broke this reel down for me that I liked was Taco Advisor. You guys can check out his video in the description below. But he truly, truly broke it down, literally. Like he opened the whole thing apart and he talked about every single thing of this reel. But let me talk to you guys about the things I like about this reel. First and foremost, I am gonna have to do this right here, right off the bat. It comes with a drag clicker, that's right. Listen to this. Oh yeah, let me put it right at the mic. Oh yeah, what do you guys think? It's pretty darn sexy, right? <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, I did an unboxing of the Tatula SVTW103. You gotta check out that video on the top right hand corner. That is a pretty, pretty awesome SV reel. Now, um, this here, the SV system here is actually different. So this is something that I am so stoked to even have in my hands, I can't wait to cast it. That is the main reason that I bought this reel is that braking system. The drag clicker was more of a, a secondary thing, right? Because everyone loves drag clickers uh, on uh, big casting reels, right? And guess what? This is not a BFS reel. So uh, it's definitely, definitely exciting. So let me just put this reel right on the side and let's go over the main specs. You know what? I like Daiwa boxes because it tells you all the main, main, main features that is selling this reel, okay? So let me just go over some of the stuff. And the Hyperdrive Digigear. This is basically, uh, they revamp basic, basically the gears on how they cut it. It's more precise, more sharp. So everything basically clicks a lot better. Like if you look at my hands right here, you know, it's not that smooth, right? Well, imagine if everything's like digitally, so it fits properly every single time it rotates. Well, basically that's what this is. So you have a better, stronger and smoother system. So uh, I am looking forward to that and uh, hopefully I'll wrangle some big fish before the end of the year, right? Uh, of course, TWS system, the T-Wing system, okay? For those who are not familiar with T-Wing system, this is it right here. At first, when you're reeling this guy here, you can see that it is basically a uh, just smaller line. So it helps uh, uh, sp spool on the line properly, align the line back onto spool uh, so that it could shoot back out later when you cast. Uh, right, you definitely want to stack properly. But the key thing is when you disengage the spool by pressing thumb bar, this thing shoots down and you can see it's basically a wide hole. So when you're casting, there is no rubbing of the guide. So this allows you to cast a lot further, okay? And of course, I only get stop up to this guy here and I don't care about the rest and I'll probably read some of these for you guys if I feel like it. But yeah, the new SV braking system. All right, this is where I need to break it down. So let me just put this on the side. Let me open this, this bad boy up. Uh, we could do a look around this, this reel later, but yeah, I want to show you guys this braking system right now. All right, so here is their spool, okay? SV booster system, that's what it says on the spool. That's pretty cool. All right, so let me show you guys the spool right here, okay? That is the spool. This is the braking system. Okay, just like the SV braking uh, system, this thing actually twists, okay? It rotates. And let me explain the difference between the Gen 1 SV and now, I guess you could call this Gen 3, okay? So Gen 1, I don't have my uh, other reels here, like the Tatula. Basically, you have an inductor cup here and it shoots in and out, that's it. So um, when you initially cast, it has no brakes, but once it hits its maximum, um, uh, force it shoots out and slows down to a point where uh, it don't need to break in anymore then it stops okay that's basically uh the tattoo uh the fake wolves you know 
really, really great operating concept. It makes it dynamic. But the SV system, the SV concept, uh, took it to the next level. It actually twists so that it is more refined, so that it doesn't need to go all the way out and slowly retracts back. So it makes it super dynamic. Now, this here, the SV booster system, Gen 3, the ultimate um, <laughs> braking system for the, the dial wheels. And let me put this back right here because uh, I'm sure someone's going to say on a comment, Jimbo, you idiot, you put your face down first. But it's, it's a clean mat, okay, guys? Not the floor. Trust me, I see a lot of photos on Instagram when people hold a fish or they put the fish uh, next to their rod and reel and their reel is facing the other way. Ugh, such noobs. But anyway, um, Gen 3, Gen 3, right? So there is a electromagnetic system here. So that's right, it's almost uh, basically competing with the DC reel in a way, right? So uh, now there's a three step, not just two, it's three step. Uh, so yeah, this should improve the braking system. You guys got to watch the Daiwa uh, uh, video that explains it even more. But with this new braking system, you know, you still have the original, right? Where it first don't shoot out, it stays free, no brakes, and it shoots out when it hits its maximum. Then it retracts a little bit, right? Once it hits, it, uh, it starts slowing down. And once it doesn't need the braking anymore, then it shoots all the way down. So yeah, three stages. And that is how this is going to improve casting distance. At least that's what we say. So uh, Jim, we're going to put it to a test and see how awesome this is. So it's supposed to reduce backlashes and cast further. That is amazing. And this boot, it's supposed to be very light. So let me just wait this for a second. Jimbo is likely gonna use this for versatile finesse, meaning uh, I am gonna spool it up just to that little line right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, uh, that line is basically their midway point and it's suggested if you guys use thin line for light lowers application. I don't know how uh, light I can go, but we shall find out. So ounce, well, it's less than half an ounce. So that means it is 13.3 grams. So in my opinion, that is kind of heavy. But, you know, it's not BFS level, but you could still potentially do some power BFS with that. So um, this would be probably very good for some of my um, micro frogs that's, you know, an eighth ounce and above. You know, just like the Tatula SV. Now, if they ever come out with uh, aftermarket spools, I wonder would it even work with this reel. I would love to have a BFS spool that is going to work with this braking system. I don't want no, you know, row row uh, spools where it's a fixed inductor cup. Nope, nope. Bzz. I think there's one, but Jimbo is going to say, Bzz. no, do not buy that. Do not use that. You're paying for expensive reel. Do not convert this to BFS, do a BFS reel that does not utilize this braking system. So you will not see Jimbo use a row row spool on this. Sorry, row row. Nothing against you guys. It's just that this reel is just too pristine to use that type of spool. But if you guys do make uh, spools that will rotate, you know, Jimbo will test it out. Jimbo will rock the hell out of it if it's awesome, all right? So um, hint, hint, row, row, hint, hint. Change it up, man. But yeah, let me put this back in and let's do a quick look of this entire reel, shall we? And then we'll go back to the box and we'll wrap it up. Uh, now, while we still have the scale here and it shut off while I put this back together, we shall weigh this. So it's on grams. We'll read it off grams first. 189, so 190 uh, grams. And let's go to ounces. 6.7. 6.7 is, in my opinion, somewhat um, somewhat light for a um, you know real made for bass that's not BFS. So it's not too bad. It is not too bad in my books. All right. So let me put this on the side. And let's just go back to the box and see if there's anything else I should point out. So Jimbo. I have picked the fastest one. There is a, a slow one, seven and a, and, a, and a six speed. So if you guys want to buy some of those, there's plenty of the sevens and uh, uh, the, the slower one at uh, discount tackle at the moment. Feel free to, you know, grab some. I left a link in the description below. Drag, 11 pounds of drag. Daiwa definitely um, uh, underrate their drag. I think most of the reels and some other folks have tested different reels that says 11 pounds is more closer to 13. But um, I, I think that's still more than enough, especially uh, the way that I will be fishing this. I'm not gonna be throwing it like things in like super duper heavy cover, like snakehead fishing in uh, thick cover, would I? I think I would, but it'll be like more finessey. Uh, but yeah, that, that would definitely be a challenge, but I don't think I need that much. You know, if you guys need more drugs, use your thumb, you know? 
I prefer to have less drag so it's uh, easier to fine tune than you know too much drag. That, that's just my style, okay? Doesn't have to be yours. Um, and then if you guys want to check out the line capacity, feel free to hit the pause button, but there's nothing else on the box that I want to talk about. However, let's assess this reel, all right? So I'm reeling this right now. It's silent, very silent, so quiet. I just bumped up the notch a little bit, a little bit, a little bit faster. Now I was playing around with my uh, Tatula Elite and people was like, oh, that reel is so, so loud. Well, um, that reel is kind of loud and also my, uh, my GoPro and my, uh, my clip be smacking on each other when I do it. So on video, you know, that usually feels a little louder. But right now, I think this feels super duper smooth. Quiet too. And once again, click, 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 click. Uh, okay, okay, enough, enough playing around. So um, this is the zero adjuster again. So you don't really need to adjust it, but let's take a look. So it does have a little wobble wobble play. Uh, that's how Daiwa likes to tune theirs out of the box is to basically turn it so it doesn't move and it just back out just a little bit so it does have that little choppy move, okay? Look at that. I, rem I remember when I first saw this reel, I thought it's gonna be like pure, um, what do you call it, Me metallic and you know shiny. But this is just a, a silver reel, which I like. I don't like those uh, reflective ones. You might blind yourself. But it looks nice on photos, but uh, I think this is just as nice. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the body. You know, I actually really, really like this. The body looks uh, a little different, but you know, they all kind of shape the same. But yeah, this, this is just super duper smooth. All right, let's do a quick spin test. It's on zero brakes, right? Okay. Ooh, look at that. Pretty smooth. What if I jack the brakes up to a uh, max of 20 clicks? Oh, well, my finger got stuck and it stops. Okay, so they definitely have some strong brakes. Let's just do a 10. All right, I, I think this might be a very, very strong brakes uh, reel. So um, one note about my Tatula SV, uh, wait, Tatula SV TW103 and my Tatula Elite. Both of those reels, I've been throwing lures in between, let's say, eight breaks to even down to four breaks uh, when conditions uh, works. But uh, most of the time I'm at six breaks. So I'm interested to see what braking I'll be using for this guy here. Now my Tatula 100 converted with the, uh, the chameleon spool, I put that at maybe four or five. So there's definitely more room to, for those other three reels uh, to configure. Like if you guys don't know, you could hack these cups and add washers or whatnot to actually um, prevent this the cup from going out as far because it, it's not needed sometimes right especially those three wheels i mentioned earlier if i'm using brakes uh, that's under even half 50 percent well that means if i loosen the brakes a little bit that means i could use potentially more of the dial which means i could fine tune that so yeah it's very interesting with this reel with the new braking style i just don't know where it's going to be so can't wait to test it out are you guys excited? If you guys are, make sure you guys turn on the bell notification because Jimbo would definitely fish this at least a few times before it freezes over. Anyway guys, I thank you for watching this unboxing video. The fish don't wait, have a happy holiday and don't forget guys, spend good time with your family. There's gonna be plenty of good food, so um, gain a few pounds, put that insulation on and keep warm. Peace.